it's not easy to bring denominations together because religion divides. That's a fact. Religion divides. Right? So when you're working against that, it's like going against time. And there are religious leaders who would have nothing to do with what we're participating in today. It's a fact. They will tell you straight up, I'm not involved in that. I do not involve myself in interfaith activities. I mean, that's a fact. Yeah. Harmony was the word on the lips of both religious and political representatives as the interreligious organization launched its annual Interfaith Harmony Week. Pastor Stanley Booty of the Christian Brethren Church was speaking there at the symposium which was held today. Minister of Public Telecommunications Cathy Hughes gave the featured address on behalf of Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu. Love of God and love of neighbor. And we've heard that this morning. This is the confidence of this special day's thought that this could be done without compromising any of their own religious tenets. One week in a year, all interfaith groups and other groups of goodwill can show the world what a powerful movement they are. A World Interfaith Harmony Week is designed to allow all groups to become better aware of each other and strengthening the movement by building on common ties and experiences. Confrontation is not a natural human inclination. What is needed is moral courage to allow us to go beyond ancient prejudices. We must cultivate a moral courage. Representatives spoke from the United Nations, the APNU, and the AFC. The PPPC was invited to send a representative, but that person was not present. Religious leaders also know their communities best. They know its fears and its dreams like no one else. They work tirelessly to make sure that nobody in their community is left behind. This is also the motto of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, a noble but difficult task that we all strive to achieve. On behalf of the Minister of Natural Resources and leader of the Alliance for Change, AFC, Honorable Raphael G.C. Trotman, I bring greetings of harmony, unity, peace, love, joy, gratitude, kindness, hope, cheerfulness, admiration, and confidence to all gather here and the people across our beautiful country, Guyana. Guyana, through the interreligious organization, has organized various activities to commemorate this week. A partnership for national unity is therefore pleased once again to be associated with this noble endeavor, since as a political movement and as the main partner in the government, we recognize the important role that the religious community plays in our multicultural, multi-ethnic, and multi-religious country. Prayers were offered by members of several religious and indigenous groups, including the Hindus, the Fetists, the Rastafarians, the Muslims, the Baha'is, and the Christians. <laughs> Pagratunda Mahakayam Surya Koti Sama Prabha. O great and mighty Yahweh, Elohim Father, Mother God, we come before you today inviting your divine presence, asking of you to bless us today in this week of harmony. Begins in the name of Ayu Shalasi Chorus, glorious and clear to name. O oh, righteous Father, I know your plans. For they have made all nations, they have made all race equal and of one blood. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Thou art generous and merciful. We 
are the servants of my threshold and are gathered beneath the shelter and shadow of my divine unity. Holy Father, we thank you this morning that you are Almighty God. You are one. And we thank you for the unity we see in the Godhead. Spiritual reflections were shared by spiritual leaders and religious groups, including the Hindu, Muslim, Brahma Kumaris, and Christian. As we reflect on our society and the world at large, no doubt we have a mixed view. There is good, there is bad. But sometimes we focus too much on the negative side. O oh, mankind, indeed we created you from a male and a female, and made you nations and tribes that you may identify yourselves with one another. Indeed, the noblest of you in the sight of God is the most God very among you. Harmony is an internal experience. It has to do with our thoughts and feelings. When thoughts and feelings are aligned in a positive way, based on love, acceptance, peace, and happiness, then there is a feeling of internal harmony. Again, there are copious references in the Bible which clearly indicate that it was never the divine intent that the church should operate in a vacuum or in isolation, completely oblivious uh, to the common social economic needs of all mankind, regardless of race, color, or creed. There will be a free interreligious concert on Saturday at 5 p.m. at the National Library and a tree planting ceremony on the Merriman Malls on Sunday, also at 5 p.m. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.